Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and doing good. Today again our chapter is halves and quarters and the topic is shape the fraction. Okay. So this topic you have already done in class 3. Again in this class that is class 4 we again will go through this topic. Okay. The first one is shape the following. Here you can see the first one. Here in the first one what is the shape? You can say yes it is a shape of a square. So you have to shape 3 by 4 of the square. So how you will shape 3 by 4? What you will do? At first you have to see the denominator. What is in the denominator? You can see. The denominator is 4. That means you have to divide the square into 4 parts. Right? So here I am dividing the square in 4 parts. And now what is in the numerator? 3. That means I will shade 3 parts of the square. So I will shade this part. And another one this part. And now this part. So that means I have shaded 3 by 4 of the square. Okay. Now here the what shape is given to you? Can you say? Yes, it is a circle. And what is in the denominator? 2. That means we have to divide the circle into how many parts? 2 parts. So here I am dividing the circle in 2 parts. Now, what is in the numerator? 1. That means I will shade one part of the circle. So, here I am shading one part of the circle. In this way, you have to shade the rest. Here you can see a rectangle is given to you. You have to at first make four parts of the rectangle. Then you have to shade one part of the rectangle. Again, in this shape also, you have to shade how many parts that you have to think. Similarly in this shape and similarly in this shape. So what you have to do in your mass copy, you have to draw the shapes and after that you have to shade it. Make sure you will shade with color pencils. Okay, not with paint. You will shade with color pencils. In question number 2, it is given shade one half in a different way on each rectangle. Here, three rectangles are given. 1, 2 and 3. You have to divide the rectangle into half. But each half will look different. And you have to do, you have to shade one part of the two parts. So, at first you have to think the three different ways in which you can divide the rectangle. Okay, I am showing you one way. Suppose you draw a line in this way. In this way, you have done the two parts of this rectangle and after that you will shade one part. In this way, you have to divide this rectangle into two parts but not in this way. It, look, it should look in a different way. And this rectangle also. Okay. You have to write this question also in your copy. And you have to do it also. Okay. Number 3. Write the shaded amount as a fraction. You can see a figure is given here. You have to draw the figure in your mass copy. And after that you have to write the fraction of the shaded figure. Okay. So you have to write what fraction is shaded. In this way here also you have to write what fraction is shaded. And here also you have to write what fraction is shaded. Make sure you will draw this. You will shade it and you will write the answer. While you will draw the figure, make sure you draw it with pencil and by using scale. Okay. And the circle should be proper and the color also should be proper. It should look beautiful. Okay. In question number 4, you can see right fractions of the following shapes are shaded 
and not shaded. Okay, here a figure is given. You have to write the amount or the fraction shaded and the fraction that is not shaded. Similarly, for this also, you have to write the fraction that is shaded and the fraction that is not shaded. Okay. You will draw this and you will write this and make sure you will color with color pencils. Next five number is the last one. Draw circle for the following. You have to draw circle for all of this. Okay. And you have to shade the fraction as it is given like the first one. I am telling the first one. Here in the first one you can see the 5 by 12. That means you have to draw a circle. You have to divide the circle into 12 parts. And after that you have to shade 5 parts. Similarly, for this also you have to draw a circle, for C number also you have to draw a circle, for D number also you have to draw a circle and you have to shade the part that is given, okay? You, what you will do, you will pause the video on that page and you will take a screenshot for the questions and after that you will do it in your math copy. Till then, practice your sums, stay good and stay happy. Thank you.